Hello everyone and welcome to the first part on the how to make a cursor shop system in Roblox Studio. In the first part, we're going to be focusing on uh, setting up the basics of our character shop, such as selecting templates and leader stats. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. To start, get the model that will be linked in the description, and then go to your toolbox, my models, and uh, drag in your, the character shop UI to the workspace. Now, this only contains the UI, it doesn't have any scripts. Uh, and after doing that, drag the screen GUI inside of star GUI. And then what I'm going to do is go to service script service, add a folder, and I'm going to rename it to uh, character shop and then i'm going to duplicate this folder and drag it inside of replicator storage now the next thing we're going to do is add a script to our character shop and i'm just going to rename this to character shop underscore main and i'm going to add another script you don't have to add this one it's just for the leader stats i'm going to rename it to something like uh, leader stats now i'm just going to set up some quick leader stats so just game dot players game dot players dot player added dot player added call and connect function call and connect function and uh, plr and local leader stats is equal to instance dot new and i'm going to create a folder and then leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats and leader stats dot parent is equal to plr and then i'm going to create a currency i'm just going to call it coins and i'm going to um, set it to be instance dot new and end value and coins coins dot name is equal to coins and coins dot value is equal to zero and coins dot parent is equal to leader stats now i'm going to change the value default value to uh, 100 and i'm going to play the game and see if that works and as you can see now we have a um, coins value and what i'm going to do now is select my screen g in here and select the buy button and i'm going to add a local script to it so that we can open and close the uh character shop now rename the local script to open slash close and then what i'm going to do is just um do script dot parent dot mouse button one click one connect function so basically whenever we click this what we want to do is script dot parent dot parent dot character shop uh, dot character shop dot visible equals not uh, equals not script dot parent dot parent dot character shop dot visible and then what i'm going to do is enter our character shop main but before i do that i want to see if this works so if i just play the game open and close as you can see this works now what we need to do is get our characters so to do that it's very simple we just have to uh create our characters now to do that there is a plugin called load character and you gotta download the plugin and open it up in roblox studio go to plugins load character the link will be in the description and i'm just going to get some random characters so i'm just going to select yeah, let's just go with uh already pro here so already pro and spawn r15 I'm going to spawn in Mr. Flim Flam and um, and then I'm going to spawn uh, maybe tanker so vote competitive mode and maybe even Russo talks spawn R15 and then what I'm going to do is just select all of my characters and go to the um, 
you know, your part and make sure that anchored is unchecked or else this will not work. So select all of your characters and make sure that the humanoid part is not anchored. And then what we need to do is play the game. And whenever you join the game, just select your character. For me, it's Players Prague. And just go to this animate script and copy it. So control C or right click copy. And then stop the game and select all of your characters and paste in the the uh, animate script inside of your characters. And that should be how you set up your characters. Now what I'm going to do is add a uh, string value to all of my characters and I'm going to call it price. Now the, the value will be the price of our character. So for me, this one will be 10 and... Uh, I'm going to add a, another string value and it will be called currency. So currency and the currency for this one will be coins. And now you can just select all of your, uh, these two values and copy them and paste them inside of all of your characters. That should work. Now I'm just going to set up this real quick. So the price for Russo talks will be 10. The price for already pro will be 20 and the price for tanker will be 30 and mr flim flam will be 50. and then what i'm going to do is just drag in all of my characters to replicator storage and character shop and create another folder inside of character shop and name it um characters and put all of your characters inside of the characters folder and then what we can do is just enter our character shop and add a local script to it now this will be character shop character shop underscore client and what i'm going to do inside of this script is uh, create some variables some references to all of our UI elements. So local character shop, character shop is equal to script.parent and local info is equal to character shop, call it child info and local uh, scrolling frame or scroll frame is equal to and uh, character shop, call it child scrolling frame and then what we can do is local um, viewport. So viewport is equal to and info common way to child viewport and local by btn is equal to and info common way to child um, by button and local price price label is equal to info come away to child price and that should be it now i forgot about the character name so local character or let's just call it name label and that will be equal to info come with child you guessed it uh character name now that should work and what we can do now is set up some functions so what we want to do is firstly um create a template for every single uh, character we have. So what I forgot to do is create a reference to the template. So local template is equal to and scrolling frame, scroll frame, come away to child and template. Now what we can do is loop through a replicator storage. So for i comma v in or yes, for i comma v in pairs uh, replicated storage or let's just do characters colon get children do and we need to create a variable for this so on the top here i'm going to create a variable for replicated storage so local replicated storage is equal to and game game colon get service 
replicate in storage and then we can do local character shop is equal to and replicate the storage on with child character shop and then local characters is equal to and character shop call with child characters and then what we can do is after looking through the characters we will create a template for each character so local cloned or local new template is equal to and template colon clone now new template dot name is equal to v dot uh, is equal to v dot name and new template dot and uh, i'm just going to do new template dot um parent is equal to scroll scroll frame and after that now what we need to do is make sure that the viewport inside of the template displays the character and to do that there is this model called model 3d and it's very useful the link will be in the description go ahead get this model and go to the documentation and copy this these line lines of code so i'm just going to copy these and i'm going to go to home toolbox and model 3d or module 3d and it's here so i'm going to drag it inside of oh where is it okay so i'm going to drag this inside of replicator storage inside of the character shop folder and then what i'm going to do is require the module now to do that i'm just going to do local uh, model 3d or module 3d is equal to require and uh, replicator storage colon with child module uh, i mean character shop colon with child module 3d and then what we can do is paste in our lines of code that we just copied now change this to model 3d and this frame here to new template dot viewport and towers to v colon clone and then what we need to do is make sure that new template dot visible is set to true and now what we need to do is play the game and see if this works okay so as you can see just created uh some very nice templates for every single character that we have now we need to make sure that these um templates are selectable so to do that it's very simple we just have to okay so what i'm going to do is create a function up here called uh, local function and uh, select template and i'm going to do new template on mouse button on click on connect function and select template and i will take the template so new template and here i'm going to get the template and up here i'm going to create a variable called local selected template and that will be set to the to nil and then what I, what i can do here is do okay so let's think about this okay so what we need to do is change the selected template variable to the template and then we need to do a viewport we need to copy this right here and this will be viewport and vcon clone will be uh, characters colon find for child and template dot name colon clone 
Also, we need to change this to temp instead of template. And then that should work. So if I just go here and do it's like this, as you can see, that works. But when I select multiple of multiple characters, as you can see, it glitches. So to fix that, it's very simple. We just have to to loop through our viewport. So for i comma v in pairs viewport do if v colon is a viewport frame viewport frame then also make sure that this is viewport colon get children do and if v colon is a viewport frame then v colon destroy and if we just play the game right now as you can see that works and as you can see there are no glitches this works perfectly fine now what we need to do is hook up a function for buying the template so what i'm going to do is create a function called local function by uh, character and i'm going to go down here and do buy button dot mouse button on click colon connect function and colon connect by character and what we can do here is just print um actually before we print anything we're gonna have to check if select the template is not equal to nil then we can print uh by button pressed and let's see if that works okay so as you can see that does print um by button pressed and i think this is going to be it for the first part of this character shop if this helped Make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!